Hi, Eleanor. It's Grandma again. Hmm, last time I read you a story about a little black fish. Do you know that there are a lot of things that live in the ocean? And today I've got a new story to share called Sea Otter Pup. Isn't he cute? Oh my goodness. He looks like a little teddy bear. Sea Otter Pup, written by Victoria Miles. There is a forest of seaweed in the ocean. It is a forest of kelp. At the bottom of the kelp, for kelp forest, Mother Sea Otter searches for food. High above, her pup is waiting. He is wrapped in a piece of kelp so he can't drift away. While mother is down below, he bobs floating on his back in the cold waves, holding his front paws and hind flippers above the water to keep them dry. Pup is hungry. He's anxious for mother to return and begins making crying sounds to call for her. Wah, wah, wah. Pup's voice sounds like the cry of the seagulls that soar high above him in the sky. Way up here. See the birds? Suddenly, Mother pops her head up above the waves. She swims to Pup and tucks him under her arm. Then she rolls over onto her back and Pup lies on her chest. <laughs> that looks comfy, doesn't it? Mother has two purple sea urchins for them to share. Pup is so hungry, he snatches one of the urchins from her paws. He opens his jaws as wide as he can and bites. Yipe, cries Pup. The sea urchin's spines are sharp. They hurt his mouth. See those pokey things? Those are prickers, spines. Pup watches his mother. She is more careful. Purple urchins are her favorite food, and she knows just how to eat them. Using her teeth, she cracks open the hard shell and slurps out the tasty urchin. She shares a piece with Pup, and he gobbles it down. See the little piece he's got in his mouth? Mm -mm. Eating sea urchins is messy. Mother and Pup must wash. Mother sets Pup aside and somersaults once, twice, three times under the ocean waves. Then she washes herself. Pup tries to copy her. He rubs his head with his paws and pulls at his fur. When Mother is finished with her own grooming, she squeezes the water out of Pup's fur. She combs him with her claws and fluffs him all over. Pup yawns. The afternoon sun is warm and he snuggles closer against mother's chest. In a moment, he is fast asleep. Pup does not sleep for long. He's hungry again and mother must leave him to dive for food. They wash after every meal. Mother often helps Pup and sometimes grooms him while he's asleep. She will dive many more times throughout the days and nights to find the urchins, crabs, and mollusks that she needs to feed them both. Soon, Pup will begin to follow her deep down below the waves, and he will learn to find food for himself. And that's the end. Oh, there's a picture of some seagulls on the last page. Did you see all the things at the bottom of the ocean? Let's go back and look at the f that first page. Well, first, look. Look on the cover, on this cover page. There's a crab, and there's a mollusk, like clams. 
And now Mother Otter is diving, diving, diving down. There are the sea urchins that she loves. Oh, and I see a starfish over here. I think we had a starfish in the last book too, didn't we? Oh, that looks like some little black fish. Oh my goodness, I wonder if it's the same as the black fish in our other story. Wow. Pup is too little to do a lot of things for himself right now. His mom has to tie him so he doesn't float away. And then she brings him food and feeds him, shows him how to open them, and gives him some of the food. And then she teaches him how to wash himself, how to roll under the water and clean his fur. Yeah, those are all the things that your mommy and daddy teach you too. You're getting to be such a big girl, you can do a lot all by yourself now, can't you? Yep. Oh, Grandma sure wishes she could hold you on her lap to read that story. That was fun. I'll have another story for you next week. Love you, Eleanor. Bye-bye.